Hello friends, I welcome you all to my channel. I thank all the subscriber for subscribing my channel. Today you can see two questions. One question will do by Jensen's inequality, other second question by different method. So let's see the first question. It is sin A plus sin B plus sin C is less than or equal to 3 square root 3 by 2. We will prove this by Jensen's inequality. Question is in a triangle ABC prove that sin A plus sin of B plus sin of C is less than equal to 3 square root 3 over 2. So if we take this sin x function, this A, B, C, all are your equal to or less than 90 degree. So I am considering the function fx equals to sin x is concave in 0 to pi by 2. Let's see the graph. This is 0. This is your pi, pi by 2, and the graph goes like this. From 0 to pi, it is your concave function. Concave downward. So, I can apply this Jensen uh, inequality. What's it? For a convex function, for a concave function, I am taking only concave, not writing convex function. For a convex, concave function, f of x1 plus f of x2 up to f of xn put by n is your lesser than equal to f of x1 plus x2 up to xn over n. That means your arithmetic mean is less than equal to your geometric mean. So, putting this fx1 means here I am taking 3 here. So, sin of a plus sin of b sin of c whole divided by 3. There are 3 functions here. That means fixed elements is less than equal to sin of a plus b plus c whole by 3. So, sin a plus b plus c gives your sin 180 degree. So, sin 180 by 3, this is same as your sin 60 degree and sin 60 degree is equal to your root 3 by 2. So, we are getting sin a plus sin b plus sin c is less than equal to by 3 is less than equal to this so root 3 by 2 or multiplying 3 to that side right side sin of a plus sin of b plus sin of c is less than equal to 3 root 3 over 2 so we proved This is very simple. Thank you for watching. Okay, another question. In a triangle, ABC prove that sine of twice A plus sine of twice B plus sine of twice C is less than or equal to, again, the same 3 square root 3 over 2. So here you might observe the graph of sine twice X. So from 0 to pi, it is not purely concave from 0 to pi by 2 it is concave and from pi by 2 to pi it is convex so inequality we cannot use from whole 0 to pi so we'll go for different method so lhs equals to sin of 2a 
plus sine of 2b plus sine of 2c I am applying formula for this to sin a plus sin b or sin x plus sin y. That will be 2 sin x plus y by 2. So 2a plus 2b by 2 into cos 2a minus 2b by 2. And next sin 2c will be as it is. So in the next step it will be sine a plus b multiplies cos a minus b plus sine 2c I can write as 2 sine 2i sine c and cos c. Now when a plus b plus c equals to 180 degree because a b c is a triangle so, A plus B equals to 180 minus C. Sine of A plus B equal to sine 180 minus C this is the same as sine C. So, this can be written as 2 sine C cos A minus B plus 2 sine C cos C. So, taking 2 sin c outside, it will be cos a minus b and this cos c I can write as cos a plus b. Same logic because cos a plus b will be cos 180 minus c that will be minus cos c. So, instead of cos c, I can write minus cos a plus b. Again, I will put formula for this. This is nothing but your sin A and sin B. So, I got 4 sin A, sin B, sin C. So, now let us recall a previous result. I had a video uploaded about this one inequalities. If you have not watched, please watch it. Sin A, sin B, sin C is less than equal to 3 under root 3 over 8. So when I am getting 4 sin A, sin B, sin C, so I will multiply 4 right side also. It will be 4 multiplies 3 square root 3 by 8 or this will be 3 root 3 over 2. So hence it is proved. So thank you for watching. Links are there to watch different inequalities and to learn. Thank you.